Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Sean Friesen. I'm the franchise partner with Expedia Cruises. That commercial was so good that we just wanted to show it to you twice because it is that good. I'm joined by the illustrious, the wonderful Jordana from Viking. She is going to walk us through her exciting new product, brand new ships, never sailed before. They're being built as we speak still. But uh, before uh, Jordana starts, I just wanted to uh, uh, tell you who are we. So um, who is Expedia Cruise Ship Centers? We're actually now Expedia Cruises. We have rebranded. This is an old slide I sent you, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, we have been in business in North America since 1987. We have 270 franchises across North America. We are Canadian based, based in Vancouver. We're Canada's largest cruise retailer. We love selling cruise. We love what we do. Um, uh, Two million travelers booked with us in 2019. We've been in uh, um, Windsor over 20 years. Uh, we've been in Woodstock for 10. Um, I've I got a branch in Thunder Bay, Sault Ste. Marie and Sudbury. Uh, we will be uh, going into uh, North Bay. Uh, hopefully by the end of this year, and then going into Chatham and Sarnia as well. So we believe in the cruise industry. We believe in the travel industry. We can't wait to get back traveling again. And we really want to be your travel, your a travel, um, your travel um, agency. We want to take care of you. We love what we do, and uh, we just want to um, help you uh, plan spectacular vacations. Here's my team. I've got 190 consultants from Kenora to North Bay, from Windsor to Toronto. We take travel very, very seriously. My team has cruised over 2,000 times. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you want to go. We've been there. We've sent people there. And we can't wait to make your trip better than you could make it yourself. And that's really what we want to do. And so with that, I'm just going to turn it over to Jordana. Tell us about Viking Expedition. Tell us about the Great Lakes. We're so excited. We're going to have real ships sailing the Great Lakes. So take it I away. I am so excited myself. Thank you so much, Sean. Uh, I love that we're coming into the Great Lakes. I live on Lake Ontario, and I cannot wait to sit on my patio and watch our ships drive by. So a little bit about me, everyone. Uh, I have been working in the cruise industry for over 20 years. I actually started out my career at Cruise Ship Centers before it was rebranded to Expedia. And in my career, I have been on over 70 cruises, anywhere from a 30 passenger yacht to a 5,000 passenger mega ship. And what I love about working for Viking is we believe a trip should be more than just a trip. We believe a trip should be a doorway to cultural insight and personal enrichment. And we believe the best way to learn about a new culture and explore a new destination is by the rivers, the oceans, and now the Great Lakes. So for those of you joining that have uh, been on a Viking cruise and know Viking, welcome. For our new attendees, let me give you a little overview of who Viking Cruises is. We started 23 years ago on the rivers of Russia by delivering the most culturally enriching destination-focused itineraries possible. And this began the modern river cruise industry as we know it today. Now, in 2015, we reinvented ocean cruising by offering that exact same destination-focused cruising as we offer on the rivers, on the oceans. And this has led us to become the top-rated small ship ocean cruise line. Our ships only have 930 passengers on them. Now, after leading the river industry for over two decades and reinventing ocean cruising, we are now taking our destination-focused journeys to the far reaches of the globe and close to home on the Great Lakes with our expedition products. So you can say we've mastered small ship cruising at Viking. You can see all seven continents with us, 95 countries, 403 ports, five rivers, 20 oceans, and the five Great Lakes. Now, while much about cruising is about bigger ships and more theme park style attractions, we are still taking a different approach at Viking by focusing on the destinations and the people of those destinations. We've created our cruises for that curious traveler. So if you are that person that wants to get into the most intimate nuances of the destination, sail right into the heart of the destination so we can spend more time to discover the world's most iconic cities and quaint towns, um, 
Viking Cruises might be a cruise for you. As an effective operator, we like to pass the savings on to our guests. So we provide you with a cruise fare with everything you are going to need from meals to beverages to free Wi-Fi on board. We even include shore excursions in every port of call that we go to that will bring you closer to the art, the architecture, the people, and the, uh, the nature with our expedition product. Now you combine that all with our award-winning crew only having to unpack once and doing it all in comfort, really a Viking cruise is the way to explore a new destination and we get to explore it close to home now. Now we are known as the thinking person's cruise. So remember how I said, if you are that person that wants to get into most intimate nuances, we bring that right on board of our ship. So we have designed our ships to enrich and enhance your travel experience. From, we have a thoughtfully curated shipwide library. Uh, we have insights from our guest lecturers, our Viking resident historians, and our Viking scientists. We have cooking classes with our chefs, wine tastings with our sommeliers. We even start inspiration before you travel. Uh, our friends at Expedia have all the details for you. We have our Viking TV that has a comprehensive list of reading books, movies, documentaries that you can watch to dive into the destination before you even depart. Sometimes that's the best part about travel, right? Going up to the part of departure and getting excited for it. Um, I can tell you I already have a few trips booked for next year and I'm already doing my research and exploring the different cities I'm going to go to. So I started out, we talked about, we first um, invented modern river cruising, we redefined ocean cruising. So now what we've done is we've taken all that expert and knowledge about designing our ships and we took that to build two of these incredible specifically built ships to navigate to some of the most remote areas. Uh, so these are our ships. They are 378 passenger ships. One ship is named the Polaris, which is named after the North Star. The other ship, which is coming into the Great Lakes, is the Octonis, which is named after the South Star. Now, what is great about these ships is they are optimally sized for us to navigate through some of the most remote areas and to have superior handling on some of the roughest seas out there. Now, the interiors. Well, for those of you who have been on Viking, you already know we have an incredible Scandinavian design on our ships. And what we did when we went to design our expedition ships, and especially in the Great Lakes, many of the ships that are sailing the Great Lakes these days are refurbished vessels, older cruise ships. They have limited amenities on board of the ships, small windows, limited public rooms. Because we're Viking and we don't like to do the things like everybody else, we have designed our ship with more indoor and outdoor viewing areas than any other expedition vessel. So we're gonna be sailing in some of the world's most incredible scenery. The Great Lakes are breathtaking, right? So you're gonna to wanna to be able to see and experience no matter what room you are in the ship. So the pictures that we have here, you can see our Explorer's Lounge, which is pictured up on the right. You have those floor to ceiling panoramic windows. Uh, we brought this uh, space in from our ocean ships. It's loved so much on our ocean ships. Um, we have our Aula Auditorium, uh, which is actually designed after the Oslo Auditorium that was the auditorium for the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, but what's neat about it is we have 270 degree views in the auditorium. So when we're doing lectures, uh, you can see what is going and what is sailing by. And you can take a look through Fences Terrace here. Uh, behind there, you can kind of see the chairs that are located there. That's our Aula Auditorium. And then Fences Terrace. I love this place. If you are ever sailing with me, this is where you're going to find me. You have great outdoor fire pits. You have comfortable seating and you can just enjoy and watch the view. Our staterooms, well, they're a little bit different because it is an expedition ship and we have to design them in a way where they are small enough that we can get into these remote areas. So we have these incredible Nordic balcony rooms with um, undist uh, undisturbed, I guess, undistorted glass. That's the best way I can explain it. And what's nice is the glass actually opens up from top to bottom. So we don't have your typical verandas because it blocks the views, it makes the ships wider. So we won't be able to fit through places like the Welland Canal, right? So um, what is also great about our ship is what we've done is we've added on uh, with the expedition. So remember how I said every detail is about to enhance and enrich? Well, 
we really want to in bring you into the science of it. So what we have done is we you'll be able to participate in incredible lectures on zoology, botany. Uh, we have Viking resident scientists on board. So you'll find those in the Expedition Central area. And they're there to assist you. And I'll talk a bit more about our scientists in a second. But what we also have in our expedition area is we have a professional photographer on board. Uh, remember, you're going to some amazing scenery, so you can actually take some photography classes while you're cruising with us. Now, our expedition cruises, what is great is we offer a variety of excursions. So uh, if you're not that active, don't worry. We have excursions for you for my active outdoors people. We have everything that will interest you as well. So what's going to be nice is every excursion is going to be pretty much included in your cruise fare. And all of our excursions are led by an expert team of highly skilled professionals in that region. Some of the stuff we'll be doing is kayaking in Georgian Bay in the Apostle Islands. Uh, we'll go back in a time into Thunder Bay's Fort William. Uh, we'll see some of the incredible world-class museums. Uh, we have an incredible uh, underwater submarine on board, which is included in your cruise fare. So you can enjoy some of our toys and maybe go explore underneath the water. Um, the kayaks are free for you to use. Uh, we'll have a lot of zodiacs and ribs on board so you can get to some remote places. My hikers, you have hiker poles. So everything you're going to need is going to be on board the ship and it's not going to cost you extra. Now, I mentioned a bit about science. Science is going to be an important aspect of your experience on board. At Viking, we firmly believe it's important for us to support scientific research. And during your voyage, you are going to have a unique opportunity to learn about and participate in ongoing research with our resident scientists in our onboard laboratory. So every sailing, we're going to have 25 different scientists on board, ranging from biologists, botanists, geologists, glaciologists, oceanographers, orthogonologists, researchers, and more. So our goal by the end of your journey is to make you feel more connected with the world around you and of course your newfound friends. So let's dive in on the itineraries. Now I just touched a bit of the ship. Uh, if you reach out to your Expedia agent, they can show you our incredible, we have a variety of different staterooms on board. I just showed you one picture. We have a beautiful Nordic spa with floor to ceiling windows. Uh, we have six different dining options. So please reach out to your Expedia agent and they can give you more details about the ship. Today, I want to spend some time on the destination. So covering an area twice the size of Pennsylvania is the Great Lakes, and they are really an unknown spoiled wonderland. Now, growing up my whole life on the lakes, I know how great it is, and I'm excited to dive in deeper on our cruises. We are going to be offering three unique different cruises. So they're going to be eight-day itineraries. The first one is our Niagara and the Great Lakes. So this eight-day eight day itinerary will start in Toronto. We'll cross Lake Ontario, go through the Welland Canal, stop at Niagara Falls, um, and then we're going to go into Lake Erie. Cross Lake Erie to Point Pelee, stop in Detroit, and then cross Lake Huron through Mackinac into Milwaukee to end that sailing. Then we are going to go from Milwaukee to our second sailing, and that is our Great Lakes Explorer sailing. So from there, we are going to go from Milwaukee. We're going to cross Lake Michigan again, through the Mackinac Strait, but we have three days in Georgian Bay here. So we will actually stop at Little Current, Killarney, and Perry Sound in Georgian Bay. Then we'll trans transit through the incredible Sioux Locks, ending with an overnight in Thunder Bay. Then we go into our undiscovered Great Lakes. So we're gonna start in Thunder Bay, and this one's unique because we circle Lake Superior here. So you, we stop in Duluth, we stop in the Apostle Islands, we stop in um, Houghton, we go through the Sioux Locks and end in Milwaukee. Now, what is unique about our itineraries is we built them in a way that you could go on one sailing, two sailings, or all three sailings if you want to go. So uh, make sure you reach out to your Expedia agent and they can let you know how to attach and make them all one complete sailing if you wish to do all three of those sailings. So what I'm going to do today, I don't have, I wish I had all night with you, but we don't have all night together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight some of the things on some of the peak places that we're going to visit. So 
let's start because on most of all our itineraries, we start in Mackinac, we visit Mackinac Island. And Mackinac Island's gorgeous. It's in the Straits of Mackinac, and it is this really charming island, and it's known, it's a haven for pedestrians and bicycles. There is no cars here. The only way to get into Mackinac Island is by boat. So today, our sightseeing excursion, you're going to go on a horse and drawn carriage, and you're going to see the historical sites, like uh, Fort Mackinac, you'll also see, uh, we'll go on top of the bluffs and look over straight Mackinac. Uh, you will see a military outpost. Uh, so you'll learn all about the War of 1812 here. So um, like I said, you get to see Fort Mackinac, which is an incredible revolutionary war fortress as well. Now what's going to happen at the end of your tour? So the tour usually happens in the morning. And then you're going to have the afternoon to enjoy uh, the island yourself. One of the things you might choose to do is visit the Grand Hotel, which is stunning. It's this Victoria era building, and it's known for its front porch. It's got a 660 foot front porch. It's known as the longest porch in the world, but it's nice to go to and sit down and have some tea um, as you are exploring. Uh, what's this hotel known for the most is actually a few US presidents used to vacation here. So uh, it's worth a visit. Another thing is you're going to have lots of time to walk around. They have quaint little shops, but one thing I have to tell you is make sure you pick up the fudge because the island is well known for its delicious fudge. And it's a great gift to give to people when you get home too as well. So the next place I wanted to talk about is the Apostle Islands. So the Apostle Islands, they consist of 21 islands. Uh, they got 12 miles of man, uh, mainland coast there. And it's a really unique blend of cultural and natural resources here. So uh, what's unique about it is they got more lighthouses than any other national park system. So there's nine historic lighthouses on six different islands. Um, for my bird lovers, there's 240 different species of birds that migrate through this archipelago, which is impressive. So today's tour will take you to go see these impressive sea caves. Uh, they're millions of years old from erosion. Um, they're beautiful. As you can see, they're red and gold. They have these incredible passageways and arches. So you will join a naturalist guide and they will take you through them. You'll learn all about the creation, about how the caves were made and how they are in constant movement because of this fragile uh, sandstone nature of it, right? So uh, it's completely different and constantly changing. So you'll learn all about that during the hike. And also as you're going through, the guide's gonna explain all the different flora and fauna of the island. We'll also make several stops so you can have unique looks to look down in the cave. Now for my adventure peeper, people, you might want to do something a little different. So we have that very similar tour, but instead of a hiking tour, you can do it by kayak. So you're going to join a naturalist guide and you will learn all about the caves from the water. So you will, it's leisurely, it's not strenuous. So you will leisurely guide through all the several sea caves on your kayak and your guide's going to share the great stories with you that way. So uh, keep in mind, kayaks are for you free to use. And what's unique about the kayaks on board of our expedition ships is you have two ways to operate them. You can use the paddles with your arms or you can use the pedals with your feet. So you can have your arms free to use binoculars, take pictures, whatever you want to do with your arms. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on to our next port of call, Hopeton. Now, you, this is the day you're going to get a glimpse to go back into time and see Hopeton in its day day. Hate it. Um, they played an incredible big role in the copper mining boom in the 19th and the 20th centuries. Uh, this town used to be home to more millionaires than any other U.S. city. Uh, there's a small compact downtown area, and it's beautiful. They have these well-preserved buildings, and uh, it will trace you right back to the roots of the uh, boom days going through there. So your knowledgeable guide today will lead you through the downtown sharing all the interesting facts about the town and local anecdotes and all that great stuff and bringing the history of the town to life. My hockey fans, you will also get to see the birthplace of hockey in the U.S. I'm going to make that clear in the U.S. Um, D Stadium. So that's in 1903 that it was there. So it's definitely worth taking a chance to go see as well. All right, Georgian Bay. 
So our Georgian Bay, we stop here for three nights and Georgian Bay is tucked in Ontario's Lake Huron. And it, it's actually not that much smaller than the lake itself. It is not much smaller than Lake Ontario, I should say. Uh, I just learned this and I didn't know this. I should have known this is they've actually nicknamed it the sixth great lake, which um, I should have known that, but I didn't know that. But it's a unique biosphere and I love it. Uh, it's a great outdoor uh, playground. They have these beautiful granite shorelines, white pine forests that you can go hiking through, incredible sandy beaches. It really is the perfect summer area, playground for boaters, anglers, kayakers, hikers. It's the great outdoor playground. So uh, some of the things that you can do is for my hikers, one of my favorite hikes that I used to do is uh, it's a 14, it's a great hike uh, there. It's a 12 kilometer hike and it's the Cup and Saucer Trail. So you get to go through all these incredible perpendicular cliffs through these dense forests. And at the end, your big reward is this incredible view that we're looking at right now. Um, but now that I think about it, I guess you don't really have to hike that 12 kilometers since you just got the view, you got the reward right now, but uh, it's definitely worth seeing yourself. There's about 14 different trails going through this area that you can go through and enjoy. Another incredible thing that we are doing is uh, our naturalist guide will also have incredible kayaking experience. Uh, there's a lot of uninhibited islands throughout the biosphere of Georgian Bay. So uh, our natural guide will take you by kayak. We even for my non kayak people, we have our rib boats, which are easy to get on and off the rib boats. And we can take you to explore these uninhibited islands. But one of the things I'm really looking for and I love science just so everybody knows um, the great thing we can do here is our Viking scientists what you can do is you can participate with research so you will go on shore with our Viking scientists and your job would be to take pictures of all the birds migrating through because they're trying to learn the migration patterns of the boards the orthonologists on, on board the ships and you'll collect samples and then you get to come back on board our ship and we actually have a laboratory on board where our scientists can work and you can work alongside them in the laboratory processing the photos and helping them go through their data of the day which is fun and exciting so what we're going to be doing is we are stopping in three different cities so as i said little current killarney and perry sound and each of the cities are very quaint themselves they have shopping areas they have restaurants you can go to and just really enjoy yourself too after a fun day of exploring outside all right, Thunder Bay. So we visit Thunder Bay on two of our itineraries. And um, I think this is, Sean, you could probably agree, this is one of the most visited cities in Northern Ontario, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Oh, there's something for everybody in Thunder Bay. I'm more than positive about it. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, especially the waterfront. They've done so much work there. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic place, you know, to spend the day. So for sure. At the waterfront, they have the festivals in the summertime, so we'll be coming in in the summertime, and we're actually docked right on the waterfront, and I just learned today from Sean that we're going to be docked right beside the Alexander Henry Museum ship. So this ship was built in 1958 after explorer Alexander Henry. He's a British Canadian explorer. And when you go through the ship, it is actually going through all of the maritime history. So there's a few different rooms that you can go through and just basically understand the transportation history of the Great Lakes at that time, which is incredible within walking distance. Um, there's also a lot of uh, public art that you can visit along the waterfront too as well. But what we have available too is our included excursion. Well, it's going to let you step back into time in 1816. We're going to go to Fort William. So we are going to dive back into the history of the Northwest Company in the Canadian fur trade. And today you're going to get a glimpse of life back then. So it's like stepping back into time. So you'll get to learn about the culture, medicine that they use, their business, their domestic life, and the farming life all of the 19th century. It's an incredible day at, full of history to go through in Fort William. So that's our included excursion. Uh, one thing I love about Thunder Bay is for my outdoor people, there's lots of great things to do. Uh, the Sleeping Giant Provincial Park will not disappoint. Uh, 
I still, and Sean, you're going to make fun of me. I still have a tough time seeing the giant. I just, I guess I don't have the eyes. I get it. The head's at the top, the body, but uh, it's a beautiful sleeping giant in the Lake Superior. And it offers about a hundred different, it's a hundred kilometers of trails that you can go through uh, from easy to strenuous. Uh, there's lots of different wildlife that you'll see as you're hiking through this incredible scenery. Another place to go to as well is the Kakabaka Falls. So uh, located just outside of Thunder Bay, uh, these incredible falls drop into the Cam River. Uh, what is neat about it is it's, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning, but uh, my fossil buffs, they have fossils that are that you can actually see here that are what, from 1.6 million years ago. So our naturalists will bring you through that. You'll get a chance to see them through uh, as you're walking through and you'll hear about all of the incredible stuff as you're enjoying this beautiful hike. So not only do you get enjoy the beautiful city of Thunder Bay, they have some great outdoor stuff to do around Thunder Bay. We do offer overnights there, which is great. And it's a fly in fly out city to as well. And I'm sure Sean knows a couple hotels in Thunder Bay if you guys aren't from the area. Absolutely. Delta right on the waterfront. Stunning views. Great spot. So, yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Alpena, Michigan. Uh, this is a really neat place because 45 unknown, there's 45 known shipwrecks as known today, but there's possibly 100 different more beneath the waters here. And today you're going to immerse yourself in the maritime history. So we are going to take you to the Great Lakes Maritime Heritage Center. You'll get a tour of all the exhibits. Uh, you will learn the history about it. Uh, one of the unique things that you're gonna get a chance to do there is go into a, a simulation. And what the simulation is, is what it's like to be on the Great Lakes in one of the incredible storms that the Great Lakes have. So you can experience what would have happened to these ships uh, and why they would have sank. And then after we go through the museum, you learn the history about it, we are going to embark on a glass bottom boat with an archeologist. And the archeologist will take you over top of the shipwrecks and give you a little bit more insight to the shipwrecks. Now, my adventure people, you can do that exact same tour, but on your own kayak as well. So uh, it's a really unique experience to really dive into the shipwrecks uh, in, the, in the Great Lakes. There's many, many shipwrecks that happen there. Uh, another stop is Point Pele. Pele, uh, this is in a beautiful national park. It's located in Southern Ontario and it extends right into Lake Erie and it's stunning. Uh, it's one of our smaller national parks uh, and it consists of woodlands, marsh, but they have these beautiful pristine sandy beaches. Plus they have their own little winery on the island as well. But what it's known for is it is the crossroads of major migration routes here. So there is about 350 different species that come through this point every year. So uh, it's not only birds that migrate through here, you'll see bats, dragonflies. Um, in the autumn, it's stunning because you will see waves and waves of vivid monarch butterflies and they're covering the whole entire island, which is absolutely stunning. So today you'll get to do a hike with our naturalists to go through the island. Uh, you can have a choice whether you take a zodiac around, a kayak, or just hike through the marshlands with with our uh, naturalist to discover the flora and fauna. Uh, you will have a great day to really immerse yourself in this incredible diverse national park that we have here. And then, well, one of the unique places that we get to stop because we do fit in the Welling Canal is an up close view of Niagara Falls. So uh, Niagara Falls is beautiful on the Canadian side. We have the horse-shaped falls, absolutely stunning. Our included excursion is the Maid of the Mist. So you get a chance to go in that Maid of the Mist boat. Uh, my only advice to you, I've done it uh, more times than I can count, is just make sure you put on that plastic jacket because you will get wet. <laughs> uh, but it's worth the ride if you have not done the Maid of the Mist. If you're looking for something unique, uh, we offer helicopter tours as well that you could take over the falls. Uh, what's going to happen is when we dock in Niagara Falls, we dock in a place called Welling, which is about a 20, 30 minute drive outside of Niagara Falls itself. So 
what we'll be having is a bus transfer. So we will be offering, and it will stop at three places. So we will have it at the ship, then we'll have a bus transfer that will take you into Niagara Falls. And then from Niagara Falls, we will go to the stunning town of Niagara on the lake. Um, this is where you can find me in the summertime, usually is Niagara on the lake. Uh, not only is the town incredible, they got great little shops down the main road. I really enjoy uh, having lunch here at the Prince of Wales Hotel. I've done it many of times. But what's nice in this area in this town is there's lots of different wineries located around here. So my wine lovers, uh, you can enjoy some of the Niagara Peninsula wine. Uh, this is one of the largest producing wine regions in our country. There's over 101 different wineries. Um, here's an interesting fact that I just learned. Uh, they produce 2 million nine liter cases of wine per year. So we produce a lot of wine out of here and it's absolutely great. So you could have a chance to enjoy one of the wineries as well. We have a program director on board of our ships. So our program director is there to assist. So whatever town we go into, uh, if you don't wanna do one of our included excursions, you kind of wanna go off on your own and figure something out, just reach out to them. They can give you tips on which wineries you can go to, how to get to certain places and they're there to assist. Now, one of our end, starting and ending cities is Toronto. So Toronto, it's a massive city. It's one of, it's the largest city in Canada. And uh, I love going to Toronto. There are so many things to see in Toronto. So if you haven't been to Toronto, what I strongly recommend, since this is an embarkation or a disembarkation, is to work with your Expedia agent because there's so many things to do in Toronto and so many places to stay. So if you haven't been to the region, you have to work with a travel agent to make sure you're staying in the best hotel and the best location to see the sites. Uh, there's the CN Tower, the Royal Ontario Museum. You have the incredible Kensington Market, Castle Loma, which is the stunning castle, the Toronto Islands, the Hockey Hall of Fame. So if you don't know where all of these incredible venues are you could be very far outside of the city and it's really inconvenient getting in and out so this is why it's important to work with an agent of Expedia because they can make sure you're close to what you want to experience in the sites you want to see so let's kind of take a quick look of what we went over today so we took you through Niagara and the Great Lakes. The only cities I didn't really talk about is Detroit and Traverse City. Remember, all the cities I didn't talk about, your Expedia agent can give you every detail and every included excursion. And then we did our Great Lakes Explorer going from Milwaukee, Mackinac Island, Georgian Bay, going through the Sioux Locks with an overnight in Thunder Bay. And then we went through our undiscovered Great Lakes. So this is where you're going to hit Duluth, the Apostle Islands, Houghton, Mackinac, and into Milwaukee. So keep in mind, everything that is available here, you can combine them. So work with your agent, they can give you great detail. Um, we also, I mentioned this earlier, that we are known as the Thinking Persons Cruise. We'd like to um, encourage you to, I'm just double checking. Sean, can you confirm that that screen moved? Yes, it did, yeah. Perfect, sorry everybody, I just saw my computer freeze, so I wanted to make sure we were all caught up. <laughs> you are um, frozen, but the screen is working, so. Okay, perfect. <laughs> doesn't matter how I look, just as long as we keep talking about travel. And the way you can continue to travel from home is through Viking TV. We have all of our online documentaries, interviews, lectures, comprehensive reading lists. So you can enjoy Viking TV. Go there, check it out, enjoy traveling virtually and continue. Now, I understand it's kind of hectic, hectic out there in the world these days. And you might not be comfortable enough to book your travel right now. So one thing what I would recommend with Viking is we have our risk-free guarantee and our risk-free guarantee gives you the ability to book your cruise with our friends at Expedia without any worry. Uh, one thing I need to talk about and uh, I'm sure Sean can agree with me is being a small ship company, we are selling out really fast for 22. We're over 70% sold out. 23, we are selling out really, really fast. And I know I'm not the only cruise line that's doing that. I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, Sean can nod his head, a lot of other, 
a lot of other cruise lines are in this situation. We're going to run into a space problem that when it's time for us to travel in 22, there's not going to be any space left. So one thing you have to do is just put a minimal deposit uh, with your Expedia agent and you have right up to 14 days prior to sailing to cancel and change your cruise without any penalties to you. So that will make you feel safe. You can have something to look forward to. I can tell you right now, I booked my uh, Viking cruise with my travel agent in June of 22. Uh, and yes, I booked with a travel agent. I always work with a travel agent, but I wanted a specific cruise and I knew I had to book it now. I even work for the company and I knew I had to book my cruise. So uh, don't forget to work with Sean and his team. Now, because you are working with Sean and his team, we have a special bonus for you. So if you book within the next two weeks from today, you will get a $100 per person shipboard credit. And I've extended this to all Viking cruises. So if you are not interested in doing an expedition cruise this year, well, reach out and talk about our river cruises and our ocean cruises. We have a variety. Uh, Sean has an old video that we did together. If you wanna see Viking as an overview, he can share our previous recording with you as well. So reach out to him and his team and they'll be more than happy to do it. Now, Sean, I think we have some time for, for some questions. So should we open up for some questions? Absolutely. Whoever's got questions, uh, there's the um, there's the chat box there uh, down on the side. So just throw your throw your question in there. We would we would love to entertain it. Um, while we're waiting for that, you know, just to just to talk about 2022, uh, we are we're definitely seeing uh, because. A 2020 season was, you know, cancelled. We're going to lose part of 2021. So you're going to have three years of demand going into 2022. And we are definitely seeing Europe selling. Um, you know, we sold more world cruises during the last four months uh, than we did the previous 14 years that, that we've been open. So definitely. Definitely, people are wanting to wanting to take a look at their bucket list. They want to, you know, pick off the very top of their bucket list. Uh, the Great Lakes is probably something that you've never considered would be able to be on your bucket list, but that is now, and so that is really cool because very few people can say they have sailed the Great Lakes. So, yeah, just All to right. check. We don't have any questions that came in, so uh -oh. I. You did such an amazing job. <laughs> well, then with that, I would say thank you, Jordana, for joining us. That was fantastic. It is. Oh, I just got one question in just as we were closing. Okay, so, super. <laughs> uh, yes, our cruises do start and end in Thunder Bay. So there's two cruises that you can do that starts in Thunder Bay and ends in Thunder Bay. That's the Great Lakes Explorer and the Undiscovered Great Lakes. So uh, if you live in Thunder Bay, that's great. You can just walk right down and board the ship. How cool is that? <laughs> when can a Thunder Bay person say they didn't have to fly for a cruise? So that's... <laughs> That's outstanding. <laughs> All right, so that's it for questions, but we do have your phone number up here, right? So yeah, so so please reach out. We would love to talk to you about you know the Great Lakes or you know the Arctic, Antarctic River, wherever you want to go. We would love to talk to you. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. You've been a great bunch. Thank you, Jordana, for talking about the Great Lakes and uh, take care everybody. Get outside and enjoy the weather, I guess. Thanks. <laughs> Have a great night. Bye everyone. Good night.